guys, welcome to Life on Fire with Wayman Dotson on God TV. I want to thank you for watching today. Man, we have an amazing evangelist here today. He is allowing us to interview him. I'm so excited. This guy has blessed my life. Actually, this week alone, I've been weeping because he's been preaching and it's been hitting my heart. And so, guys, I want to encourage you to open your ears, open your spirits. This is evangelist Levi Lutz. Man, it's going to be awesome. Bless you today in Jesus' name. I hope you're having an amazing day. No matter where you are in the earth today, I just want you to know that you are truly amazing. I want to tell you a little story. God sent me, as I, as I first got saved and began to grow in Christ, God sent me to Trinidad. And I became a missionary in Trinidad. It's a little Caribbean island off the coast of Venezuela. You can actually see the coast of Venezuela from the shore of Trinidad. In many days, I would, I would look across uh, uh, that ocean and I would see Venezuela and begin to pray. But I want to say today to you that as I was uh, growing in Christ, living in Trinidad, I began to notice these men and women that I was around and some of them couldn't even read or they couldn't even write. But yet they moved in such power. They moved in such anointing. I remember some of them couldn't even talk right. But yet when they, they would pray for people, miracles would happen. And I would be just so, I would be so like in awe. I'd be in so wonder because I was like, wow. Like I'm really, I was actually watching miracles take place right before my eyes. And as a young man, and as I was, I was in the Baptist church at the time, and I love Baptist. Uh, I was a, a missionary for a Baptist church, and I, I began to see these people. They were speaking in tongues and laying hands on the sick, and the people were just getting healed, people getting delivered and set free. And even at times, I even witnessed one night, I witnessed a woman come forth in church who was clearly having mental illness issues and clearly having demonic issues, and she came forward and they began to pray for her and I witnessed a demon come out of her and it forever changed my life and I remember that Jesus had set my own life free from drugs and alcohol so I knew that there was power in Jesus but as I began to see these these men and women uh, speaking tongues something that I was not used to around my own church at home I began to like ask God and seek what the word said and it was all over the word about being baptized in the Holy Spirit speaking in tongues and and I just want to let you know today you may question it you may you may wonder about it but what I'm my point of sharing this story was is that I witnessed people who could not even hardly read or write cast demons out of people because they were baptized with the Holy Spirit. And you know, it says in Acts 1-8 that power shall come upon you and I, that power shall come upon the church and we shall, or the Spirit shall come upon us in power and that we shall heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out devils. It even says that in, in Mark 16. Guys, I want to encourage you. We need the power of the Holy Spirit more than ever in our lives. Life. And I want to encourage you today to ask for more, to ask for the Holy Spirit. Man, I, want, I pray that God stir your spirit right now in the name of Jesus, that you, right now you would pray with me. And I just want to pray that you would receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Because as I witness these people who couldn't read or write, cast out demons and heal the sick, I began to pray secretly in my own life. And I said, God, if this Holy Spirit thing be of you, I want it. And as I began to secretly pray that in my, my own prayer closet, one day as we were in worship, I was worshiping. All of a sudden, I felt the power of the Holy Spirit come upon my life, and I began to speak in tongues. And ever since that day, my whole life has truly been changed. So I want to pray with you today. Just hold your hands out. I'm going to ask God to fill you. And maybe, maybe you already feel, but I want, to, I want to ask God to just 
to refresh you even with the power of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Father, I just pray right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for those who are watching all over the world. God, I pray that right now, Lord, that you would give them an Acts 1 8, to, to be filled with the Holy Spirit and to go to the nations, to be filled with power and to go to the nations with the powerful message of the gospel. Lord, I pray, great witness of God, that you would, uh, that you would engulf each and every person that watches this even right now today with your power and anointing right now in Jesus name amen bless you today in Jesus name man I just want to encourage you guys man I still ask for more all the time I'm asking for God to fill me more and more no matter where you're at guys we need the power like never before bless you today in Jesus name amen Hey guys, I want to thank you for tuning in today, man. I have a special guest, Evangelist Levi Lutz, guys. And I want to tell you, God has been putting fire in his heart. He's burning for Jesus. I've been in the boot camp myself as a student. And man, the last couple of weeks of my life has been transformed. I've been hit, been hit with the power of God, been hit with the word of God through the proclamation of his preaching and some others. But he is the director of the evangelism boot camp for CFAN. And he's, and he's also together in the ministry. He's taken over for Steve, evangelist Steve Hill's ministry. Guys, I want to tell you, he is the real deal, and I'm thankful to have you today, Levi Lutz. Bro, it's an honor to be with come you. Come on, come on. What is God saying to you in this hour? Oh, man, bro, you don't, you've got to be careful even getting me started. We, we are in the greatest days of harvest. Come on. Wait a minute, the world has ever seen. Come on. We, we talked, you know, people have talked my whole life about a great end come time harvest. Come on. But we're living in it. I've never seen the lost saved. Come on. Like we've seen in even, even in the last couple of years. It's come almost on. like as soon as the enemy roared with the pandemic and yes. began to make all these yes. threats. Yes. It's like a Goliath, right? Come as on. God began to raise up the come Davids. On. Come on. And uh, man, it's just an exciting time to be alive. Amen. It's an exciting time to be loving Jesus. Tell us what you're doing at CFAN. Now, you have come on as the drill instructor, <laughs> as the director. Amen. You spent a, a life in the military, yep. and now you're you're in the greatest military. Amen. That's right. And but you are uh, uh, raising up mighty warriors, men and women of God, evangelists. Tell yeah. us a little bit about that. Oh man, what what a wonderful uh, just whole program the the Christ for All Nations Evangelism Boot Camp is. Yeah. You know this is not. Uh, you know, we, we have all kinds of teachings and literature for raising up people into evangelism. Yeah. But this is to equip, you know, Navy SEAL, elite, right. wow. uh, crusade on. evangelists. We, we have maybe thousands apply and only a small number are approved. Wow. And once they get there, that's only the beginning. Yeah. Uh, for three and a half months, uh, evangelist Daniel Kalinda and yeah. myself, you know, we're pouring everything we yeah. have into Come them. On. We're Come pulling on. back the curtain. We're giving them, you know, everything that's made yeah. our ministry successful over the years. Uh, but we're also, uh, Wayman, we're weeding them out. You know, this yeah. is not a time for someone who's eat up with the man of God yeah. syndrome. Yeah. Man, Steve Hill used to say, you know, be so small that you can dangle your legs off a Kleenex. Woo! Nobody's anybody but Come Jesus. I, I was, myself, I was a burnout nobody Come on. that Jesus rescued, Come on. and I never got over it. Come on. And if you just want a microphone, this is not the place Come for on, you. Dude. If you just want to have some kind of a, you know, I want to connect and, and get uh, get a, uh, a TV show or what, right. this is not it. Right. But if you burn for the one and Come you've on. been faithful, Come on. Uh, and now you're feeling called to the nations, bro, we want to equip you, we want to raise you up, and we want to send you. And you, you hear me talk about this all the time, but I don't know if our viewers are familiar with this. We, we just trained a group of 100 evangelists. Come okay? on, bro. We trained them up, sent them over. We didn't send them with a lot of money. Yeah. We didn't send them with a, you know, a bunch of promotion. We just said, go do what we trained you to do. Amen. And in 21 days, what they saw 316,000 salvations. Jesus. Now, Come on. for me, I, I did, wait a minute, I did a lot of drugs before the Lord saved me, okay? Right. So you get, you get a big enough number, it's like, okay, that's just a big number. So I had to break that down to digest it. That's 15,000 souls a day. That's five times what they saw in Pentecost wow. in the book of Acts Come on. right now in 2021 Come on. in the middle of a pandemic, bro. You can't tell me these are not the most exciting days in church on, history, and on. we're just getting started. Come on. 
Wow, it is powerful to hear, and I've, I've been seeing the videos, but man, I want to tell you, I'm, I have been around a little bit, and your preaching, man, your teaching has really impacted my life, and literally, I'm just a couple weeks in the boot camp, and literally, I feel, I've been many days, literally every day, I can say that before the Lord, I've been weeping. Praise God. Every day that I've been in Florida, God has been touching my heart, whether it be through this person or that person, but through your word and through your Praise teaching God. and under your leadership, man, I want to say that, man, you bring something special to this program. I sense the anointing. I sense the power of God upon you, but I sense such a sharpening. You carry this, this anointing to sharpen evangelist, and man, I just want to thank you how you've already impacted my life. Many people, I literally called Levi already, they asked me, how's the boot camp going oh, or man. why'd you go to the boot camp man you're already doing this yeah, thing yeah. and I want to I tell them my life was changed the first week wow. of orientation Gosh. of orientation God, literally like that just true. every the day came, came Dude, right in the middle of orientation I feel that God is truly doing something special with yeah. this boot camp. I, I and that. I really believe that you guys and through y'all's leadership and through CFAN, you're going to see so many come and, and literally walk out their destinies Amen. because you guys are giving them tools. And also you're an encourager to, for them to go. Amen. And I just want to ask you, you know, we, we have about 12 minutes left, yeah. and I just want to literally release you to release to the camera, to every viewer that's watching today, whatever is in your heart, man, I just want you to just roll with what the Holy Spirit is telling you. I, I really appreciate you giving yeah. me that opportunity to do that. And before before we do, guys, I just want to say I'm, I'm honored to have the opportunity wow. to pour into you, bro. You're, Come on. You're such good ground. You're reaping just multitudes I, I of souls it, all over the world. And to be able to sow into that, bro, is an mm. honor of my life. Come on. And I also want to give honor to Evangelist Kalinda. Yes, come on. You know, Daniel, the reason it's so effective in this training is he's protected a pure stream. Come on. He, he had actually, you know, I, I told you the story off, off stage, but he had gone to uh, the, the home of, of the widow of Reinhard Bonnke's yeah. house, and there was a big fishing lure on the wall. Yeah. And Daniel, it was like it was pulling him in and speaking to him. Yeah. And he said, what's special about that lure? And she said that the evangelist Steve Hill had given that to Reinhardt. Wow. And God began to deal with Daniel about blending the DNAs of the past, the Reinhardt Bonkies and the Steve Hills, Come to on. produce a hybrid evangelist that was, Come on. you know, no nonsense, holiness message, pure right. before the Lord. Come on. That would, that would have a sharp sickle like a razor blade Amen. to reap this end time harvest. And you're one of those. Well, I mean, you're, you're one of I those that's, that's a pure yeah. stream Amen. who's been raised up for such a time as this. I receive and we it. may we may have those, you know, even watching your broadcast, Come on. Come on. that you've, you've been in the ministry, you've been... Uh, already you've been going after souls. Maybe you've been equipping churches. You've been mm -hmm. preaching revival meetings. But like even early in your ministry, you would have dreams. Uh, uh, you would have visions of preaching to crusades and, and, the, and the multitudes, but you also have a heart for the one. I, I encourage you to go on the website, uh, cfanbootcamp.org, and just put in an application. We would love to pour into you. Uh, time is short. This is not the kind of time where you wait another year or another couple of years. It's the kind of time where you, you lean into all that God has. And I believe Come there's on. such an Come urgency, on. Wayman. Those that will say Jeez. yes to Jesus, there's a momentum that will get behind Come them. On. The Holy Spirit will push Woo! that uh, like never before. I, I'm, I'm one right now, man. If I go even in a grocery store, my heart begins to beat so Come fast on. because people are perishing all around That's us. That's right. That's right. But, but their hearts... Their hearts are prepared. The things they trust in, you know, people that were trusting in a 401k, right. it crashed. That's right. People that were, you know, they, they working out and they're in great shape and they're, yeah. they're, they're trusting in their physical health. Now, now they're, they're afraid to even go in restaurants. They've got right. masks and all. And, and I'm not throwing a rock at mm -hmm. that. I, I don't even have an opinion on that. Yeah. But I know that we can't trust in any of those things. That's right. We've got to trust in the man Jesus. Come and on. so people are ready for the gospel. As a yeah. matter of fact, I just feel this. This is okay. Go, bro. Right, right now. Uh, I understand this is God TV. I understand this is a Christian broadcast. But, and I, and I love you. Like Wayman said, I shoot a little bit straight. But if you're a, you know, you're a praying mama, you're a praying wife. Come on. Uh, you, you love to tune into Christian television, but you've got lost people in the house. Mm. I want to encourage you right now. Get up off the couch, ma'am. Get up off the couch, sir, and go just, I don't care if you've got to pay them 20 bucks. Bring your lost loved one in just for a couple of minutes. Tell them I want three minutes with them Come on. just Come on. to talk to them. Bring them into the living room. Bring them into the, t Come tell on. them, you know, back up the live stream for a second. 
and set them down. I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to waste their time. I promise you. Come the on. fact of the matter is this. I'm, I'm not some, you know, churchy person that has it all together. I, I was a nobody that Jesus Come on. rescued, Come on. but he touched my life and he'll touch your life. He'll transform your life, but you got to surrender to him. Mm. It's not enough. This thing of just, Oh, I believe there's a Jesus somewhere. There's a God up in the clouds, that's not going to rescue anybody. Every devil in hell believes that. But, oh, if you'll surrender your life, if you come to come the on. end of yourself and you'll say, I'm going to get out of the driver's seat, I'm going to lay it down, come Jesus. On, come on. If you'll transform me right now, you know, it's time to stop making excuses. It's time to stop mocking those that have been praying for you. This is a divine moment. The Lord is reaching out to you, ma'am. The Lord's reaching out to you, sir. And it's an opportunity. You, you, you don't get to remain neutral. Right now, he's, he's extended himself to you. You can say yes or you can say no. All right? Mm. If you want to say no to the Lord right now while he's speaking to you, fine. Get up and leave. Mm. But if you want to say yes to Jesus... I want you to pray with me right now. Come this on. can shift everything. This is not a broadcast where some, you know, polished preacher is asking you for money. We're not asking for anything. Come on, come on. We receive the gospel hey. free, and we're giving you the gospel for free. But I want you to surrender your whole life. Come I on. want you to pray this with me out loud. Hmm. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. Lord, I've, I've sinned against you. I've sinned against you. I want you to wash me. I want you to wash me. I want you to cleanse me. I want you to cleanse me. I want you to make me brand new. I want you to make me brand new. Be my Savior. Be my Savior. But not just my Savior, be my Lord. Not just my Savior, but be my Lord. And I will obey you. But I will obey you. And Lord, if, as I surrender you as Lord and I believe in you as Savior, I want to know you as my very best friend. Come on. From this day forward, Jesus, I am yours. Come on. And you are mine. Come and live your life through me in your precious name. Amen. If you prayed that prayer with us today, I want you to reach out to Wayman's ministry. They'll walk with you. They have literature they can send to you. They're not, you're not going to be alone in this. That We can even plug you into an on-fire church. Come on, come I on. encourage you to get in this Bible. Come on. And, and something come I on. shared with these boot campers. Man, I wasn't a, I, I, didn't, I didn't know John 3.16 when I got saved. But you know what? I, and I didn't understand the Bible. Wayman, it intimidated me. Yeah. But I said, Holy Spirit, come on. I want to know you. And so if you'll just read the Bible to me as I read it and explain it to me, Lord, mm. I promise I'll continue to seek you out. And the Holy Spirit would make it simple like a cartoon come on, come for on, me, man. And he'll do the same thing for you. He's no respecter of persons. Come if on. you begin to just pray, you begin to get in the word, you get plugged into an on-fire church, I promise you, mm. your life is never, ever, ever going to be the same. Mm. Levi, man, I, I just want to say I'm thankful that you're here today and and, man, I want to say, man, you are so walking in such anointing that's so sharp, bro. And I thank God for you. And, and today, if you have heard his voice and, and you said that prayer, we just want to encourage you to truly get in church, but truly uh, read the Word of God and actually act it out, actually do it. James said to become a doer yes. of the Word and not a hearer only. The Bible says faith without works is dead. Amen. It literally is stinky, uh, dying corpse, right? Amen. And we, uh, there must be application to the word. And that's Come something on. about the boot camp. You guys yeah. are, are, are instructing us. You're, you're filling us, teaching us, equipping us. But then you're saying, act it out, yeah. live it out, walk it out, preach the gospel, heal the sick, sure. cast out devils, raise the dead. It's you guys are encouraging right yeah. people to do that. And literally Orlando is exploding Amen. with the proclamation. I went downtown several times okay. and there are students everywhere down now, there. This, this guy can't <laughs> even go in a restaurant. Wayman goes in to get a burger and he's everyone in the place. Jesus loves you. He come died on, for you. He on. wants to rescue you. Like, come man, on. you can't take this guy come anywhere. On. Yeah, I mean, I love guys like that. Come on, come on, and there's literally a hundred of us like that yeah, in the right. class. I mean, it's, I mean, I'm just, I'm Whoa. amongst my tribe. You, you know, and that's what I felt like when I came down into the school. I, I felt like I'm looking around, and I'm like, wow, I'm with a hundred people. <laughs> 
that are literally just like me. Maniacs. Yeah. I mean, literally burners, the ones yeah, that are just on. burning for Jesus, the ones that are just spending hours and days wow. in the Word. You know, like, those. that's our heart, bro. Like, we know the Word, and we, we seek Jesus' Come face. And, and, guys, I want to encourage you to invest your life in the kingdom of yes, heaven. Yes. In this hour, there's no better investment. Jesus. Many people are investing in, in stocks and bonds and house the house market. Jesus. But the reality is we must invest in the kingdom on, in this hour on, because it, the kingdom of God remains forever. Presidents come and go. Governments, parties come and go. Jesus. Wars come and go. All these things come and go. But the kingdom of God, Jesus, is worthy and he reigns forever and ever and ever. Even like all the seraphims, man, come for on, eternity, forever, they're, they're already just crying. Holy, that, holy, 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 holy. Man, and I'm just so thankful that you guys are imparting to us what Steve Hill carried, what they pass on to you guys, and, 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 and what Reinhardt Bunky passed on. And I'm just so thankful to be in a rich heritage. I feel like I'm in a family. You know, I feel like that there's a family there. There's something evolving, something manifesting through the presence of God, Amen. you know, and, and uh, man, I'm just so thankful for, like I said, the last couple of weeks, I can't, everybody's called me, asked me questions, you know, and uh, even testifying to uh, shake the nations here and like to these guys, just telling them what God is doing wow. in the boot camp and through you guys and through the word, through the Holy Spirit, every speaker we've had, every, I like, I don't know if I like to say speaker, I like to say instructor because Amen. there's a instructing yeah. going on, you know, yeah. equipping going on. And, and uh, man, everyone has been fired. Yeah, amen. Literally, everyone has been fired. There's, there's not any like uh, watered down gospel going on there. There's no watered no. down word going no, on there. And, sure. and it's, um, I meat, literally. Meat for men. Come on. Come it's, on, man. It is meat. And it truly is me. It's, it's, it's a great time of my life. I'm, I've been traveling a lot, and it's literally, I'm in this place where it's like time to just stop. And receive, you know, yeah. and I and I literally I feel God just growing me and and birthing fresh vision in me, and uh, I just want to encourage people out there that maybe you you're an evangelist, maybe yeah. you're a seasoned evangelist, and uh, you're like, well, maybe this boot camp I've done it, I'm doing it. Well, I want to tell you that I've been doing it. And I'm coming and I'm laying my life down and God is blessing it. And God is really enriching me with the word and with, with truth. And I feel like he's restoring areas of hope in me, restoring areas of faith in me even. And also I felt like fear was fleeing. Mm. Like I felt like the first week that I was there, the second week, uh, I felt fear leaving and just just a uh, 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 boldness of a lion rising Come up on. again. You know, just this because I, you're amongst people that encourage you. You're Come amongst on. people that are like you. And uh, man, would you pray for those? I know that you just prayed for uh, for those to get saved, but we have about 50 seconds left. Yeah. Would you would you end us in prayer, Levi? Would you pray for people or whatever sure, is on man. your heart? I just, I just want to pray an activation for soul Come winning on. on the believers. Come Whether on. you're a full-time evangelist or you're just, you know, you're a precious saint that that comes to church every week, but you're not in the full-time ministry, I just pray that a burden for the lost would come upon you, that you would never be the same, but not only a burden for the lost, yes, but a grace Jesus. to come win on. the lost, that you would open your mouth and preach the gospel to just people in the supermarket, come and on. like never before you would see the, the prodigals come home to Jesus come and on. the lost get saved. Mm. Right now, Lord, activate it in them yes, like Jesus. never before in your precious name. Amen. Guys, I want to thank you for Levi Lutz, evangelist Levi Lutz being here today, but also I want to thank you for watching. Guys, uh, check them out uh, at the boot camp at CFAN. Uh, what's, the, what's the actual thing for yeah, that? CFANbootcamp.org and togetherintheharvest.com. Come on. So get in touch with Levi, guys. I'm telling you, God is doing great things. He is a fireman. He's real. He's raw. But it's all out of love. It, it, I mean, I really felt the love of God. I felt like you, it, the whole time it's like I, I'm not here to play games, but I really love you, and I don't want to waste your time, and I don't want you to waste mine. 
but I, I want to I want to equip you because it's it's an urgency right now, and I and I really feel that guy. So get up out of your seat. Come on. Don't keep sitting there. It is time to get up and Ooh. preach the gospel like never it. before. Everywhere you go, your life is a platform. We don't look for pulpits or stages. We when we get those, we preach them. But the reality is, every restaurant, every Come airplane, ahead. every airport you go in, every train, plane, whatever you go in, you are the of the world. You are king. You are priest. You are a priesthood. And listen, we're no longer slaves to sin. Jesus has set us free. We're no longer under the dominion and power of the enemy. We're no longer addicted to pornography. We're no longer Amen. addicted to depression or to those evil thoughts that hold us down or, or suicide. I, I was struggling with suicide, guys. I, I'm, I'm honest. But Jesus has set us free. Ooh. I want to thank you for watching Life on Fire today with Wayman Dotson and God TV. Bless you today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, guys, this is Wayman with Witness to the Nations. Guys, I want to let you know that the Bible in its day in the book of Acts was a form of media. That's how they spread the word of God. They wrote it down and sent it out to the different cities, to the different churches, to the different regions. And guys, just like that, God is using social media today. I want to encourage you to follow us to look and watch at some of our clips and, and healings and deliverances and what God is doing with witness to the nations all over the world. So I want to encourage you to watch us today. Watch us on social media. Follow us, man, because God is always doing things and we're constantly posting content. Follow us on social media today. We love you. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Life on Fire with Wayman Dotson. And I want you to know that God absolutely loves you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey guys, this is Wayman Dotson with Witness to the Nations. We're currently in our studios, uh, Life on Fire with Wayman Dotson on God TV. I want to reach out to you today and give you a, a huge opportunity because nations right now are calling on Witness to the Nations to come and hold crusades. Man, there's potential for us to reach thousands of people in multiple nations, but we need partners. We need financial partners. And guys, I want to tell you, you could partner in not only to our ministry, but you partner into nations hearing the gospel. People, young men, young women, children, old people, young men, young women, old women, old men, hearing the gospel and having their lives changed. So I want to ask you to please consider partnering with us today at Witness to the Nations. Bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.